I'm Paul Dillon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. While I do want to sharpen my photography skills today, Cody and I are going to head to capture the sunrise. I wanted to share with you guys how I'm able to do all of this while working 40 plus hours a week and doing all of the other things that I have to do. Making excuses not to do things, it's the easy part. That's why we always do it. It's so much easier than actually doing things. But when you start to find options instead of excuses, that's when shit starts to happen. We all carry around a cell phone which has a camera. Most of them can take video. You start taking pictures with your phone. Stop making excuses. Hello, fans of Paul Dillon. You guys are probably sick of this video already. So go ahead, hop over to my channel, Cody McCarty. Paul's gonna link it in the description down below. Here's Paul. I'm totally gonna use that. It's <laughs> kinda loud. I wonder if they can still hear me with that. They of course. Can. Um, yeah, so you have 16 hours in a day. Let's say you work a full-time job. You have eight hours of full-time work. Then you have 16 hours to sleep and recover. <laughs> you don't have 16 hours of sleep and recover. He said that wrong. There's 24 hours in a day. If you sleep for eight hours, that leaves you 16 hours of extra time to get shit done. I work a full eight hours, so it leaves me eight extra hours to be productive. I have enough time to go to the gym. I have enough time to come out with Cody and go on these trips. I'm gonna continue this later. It's really cold. I'm getting really hungry. We're headed to Blue Bowl Superfood in Huntington Beach. This is their new location, and I'm gonna continue this vlog there. Hashtag not an ad. Linda and I came down to Huntington Beach to do a product shoot for one of her clients and also eat that blue bowl we just got. While she does her thing, let's recap. 24 hours in a day, minus eight hours of sleep, leaves you 16 hours of productivity. If you work a full eight hour shift like I do, that leaves you eight hours of productivity. Eight hours left to get things done. The best way to utilize that full eight hours is to wake up early. I'm not going to go into the how and the why because Casey Neistat pretty much did the best video on why you should wake up at 4 a.m. But waking up early, you can have a lot more time to get things done. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I wake up 4 to go to the gym. I'm home, showered, and I've eaten breakfast by 7 a.m. When I go to work at 9.30, that leaves me two hours before work to work on client stuff, to edit the vlog, to edit pictures most important part is you actually got to want to do it. Truth is we all have 24 hours in a day, but it's how we use our time that makes or breaks the things that we achieve. I couldn't do any of this without the support of my girlfriend, Linda. But a big thing that does help is cutting thing, cutting chores into small chunks. I will try to do things before work so that way on my day off, I can concentrate on going to create, going to places. Granted, these places are within about 30 minutes to an hour drive, but it helps. So this is where I'm gonna conclude this week's vlog. Don't forget to hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. That way you can keep up to date with all the cool things we have going on. Linda and I will be taking a trip up to Death Valley soon to do some astrophotography in a much more darker place than Joshua Tree. Quite excited about that. And remember, 1% better every day.